YouTube and thank you for one year of watching my videos. In celebration of one year of videos, I thought it would be a good idea to go back and redo my first video. I always laugh, I find it interesting that my first video I ever did is my most popular video and I feel like it's the worst video I ever did. And you know, I was literally learning as I was shooting the video and made lots of mistakes as I was fixing this jack. So I wanted to go back and show you a shorter video, the right way to do this, the quickest way to do this, so that you'll have a jack that works like new. Now this jack's about 20 years old. I think I bought it in the mid 90s. Uh, it's a Craftsman 3 ton jack. It's been absolutely solid right up to sometime about 2015. It just started not really lifting, not holding the lift, and it just got worse and worse and worse. Now if you remember in the first video, it was leaking fluid out of here. So basically every time I pumped it, a little bit of fluid came out. And it got to the point where literally it just wouldn't lift at all, which was really bad. So I thought about throwing it away, and then I watched a couple videos on YouTube and got the idea that I'd try to make my own video. And that spawned my channel, <laughs> which has certainly evolved over the year. But uh, basically what you want to do, and I, I can put the old video back up, you, know, you unbolt remove this piece which allows you to pull this out of the here you found a trick making this a little easier. So we're going to try that. I'm just to push that in so that this side goes into the groove first and then work it with the screwdriver after that because it's a lot easier to work the screwdriver around this way than it is if you're trying to work the screwdriver on this side you don't have any clearance. Now this jack, there's an O-ring and a plastic ring inside of here, not on this pin. You remove just the O-ring, not the plastic pin. Replace the O-ring, put it back in there, reassemble everything. When you want to refill the jack, ignore what I said in the first video and do what I did in the second video. Pop this cap right here, it's a rubber cap. pops right up. Fill it with your jack oil. All the way up. And then turn your handle counterclockwise until it's open and then pump your jack. You may take five or ten pumps and you'll see the air bubbles coming out through that hole. Once the air bubbles stop coming out, then you're done bleeding it. Pop that cap back on, and your jack should be good as new. So I filmed the repair video for this jack a year ago, and it still works like a brand new jack. And I still use this jack in a lot of my videos. Anytime I'm jacking up a truck or van or something heavier, the videos where I don't use this is usually because this is a really heavy jack and moving it around is not as easy as using the little lightweight aluminum jack. So when I don't need the heavy duty lifting I'll use the aluminum jack. But 
this is still a solid jack that I rely on. And you can see it hasn't lost a drop of fluid. You know, another thought for a future video, someone had asked me one time why I didn't totally restore this jack, you know, paint and everything. That'd certainly be a uh, good video to do. Uh, this poor jack, I pretty much abused it over the years, you know, it spent years where it was put away nicely and years where it was left outside and so you see it's faded up, it's got a little bit of rust on it and stuff, but like I said, it's still very solid. So if time permits, I'll probably shoot a video where I'll take all this stuff apart here and clean it up, repaint it, and try to make it look brand new. But as far as I'm concerned, as long as it functions like a brand new jack, that's the main thing. It, it can look ugly. So thank you for a year of YouTube. I look forward to many more years with y'all.